Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing another FPV uh, new products that are coming out and actually it's going to be pretty interesting because last night I saw a new product which is priced for a thousand dollars which also I think is absolutely wrong but it is pretty crazy actually so let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, it's going to be under the toys and hobbies I believe. I'll leave a link to everything down below um, in order as I go along. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so it's in radios and receivers, and you might not see it from the beginning, but hopefully they still have it. There it is. There it is. This is the FR Sky Tyrannus X Lite, and it is basically like Eternity Evolution. It's a controller based, and it looks just absolutely phenomenal here. Um, I'm definitely going to be picking up one of these. It doesn't look like an OLED display. It looks like just a normal LCD here. Um, <clears throat> but it looks pretty cool. You got your little joystick, got your little buttons there. Uh, this is going to be pretty annoying with the, you know, setting up the uh, letters and stuff. But, I mean, it's it's going to work. So it's, it's pretty compact. It's actually pretty crazy compact. And you can see the gimbals also. They seem like they are going to be um, the Hall Effect kind of because that's how it... it I mean, that's how it seems like to me, but it's still too early because it's very far. Maybe we could read on that down here, actually. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, the hall sensor gimbals. Yep, like I told you, that's perfect. Red and black option. That is awesome. I'm going to try to get the red. Hopefully, it's still available. Easy access battery. So, it has replaceable batteries. Probably some double A's and some nickel metal hydride and even some lipos. So, that's going to be pretty cool. Ergonomic designs. Obvious, we can see that internal and external antennas that's just pretty damn good actually um i think that's a picture right there of it maybe or it looks like something else oh, that's the horus x10s but i don't see where we would put the antenna it's going to be pretty i'm actually very excited for this but i don't think it's going to be i'm pretty sure it's not going to have a module bay oh and again i'm absolutely wrong this is crazy mini usb port headset port and micro sd card slot outdoor readable lcd like i said smart port um this transmitter is going to be sold out for a while i believe because it's just like the turn evolution when that thing came out i couldn't purchase it for a trillion years after and i still had to buy the wrong color and buy the wrong mode i actually got it uh mode uh two I no mode one had to change it to a mode two so yeah oh, okay well that's good so see it's not a thousand dollars it's just a placeholder price because they don't know the real price so they put something outlandish so you're like you know it's obviously wrong it's not a thousand bucks for this so i'm guessing it's going to be below 300 and hopefully it's between 100 and 200 hopefully it's less than 100 but um time will tell Maybe one of you could pretend that you're a dealer and just email FRSky and tell them you want to buy like 50 of them and let us know what the price is once you get a price on that. So <laughs> that's going to be um, that's going to be pretty fun, pretty interesting actually. It even I did not even expect that. Last night I was looking at this, I was like, no, it's not. You know, it's, it has the word light, which means some things are going to be missing. But this thing is it has everything. It's missing some trim centers. And actually, how many switches does it have? Because all I see is two. One, two. Am I missing anything here? So that's something I just noticed, actually. So it has two of them. I'm pretty sure they're going to be three position switches. But if they make them like a four or five, then <clears throat> I don't know. So arm and mode, maybe. So, yeah, some people, it's going to be a love-hate. Well, it's a 16 channel. How is it a 16 channel? We got four channels for the gimbals and then we have two here so uh what is that four five six channels here maybe we're not seeing the other switch possibly um i don't know i really don't know maybe this is just a prototype or something but that's how it's going to look like they're probably going to add more switches but i really don't see where they would and it's going to be beautiful i think for even well it's not really for pinchers it's more of a thumber because it's a joystick you know, it's like for people who play Xbox and PlayStation and all that kind of crazy stuff. So this is going to be pretty awesome. I really can't wait for this. And actually, I just changed from the X7 to the X10. So, yeah. Oh, well, that's one thing right there. So let's go ahead and grab the link and I'm going to leave the link to this down below. 
All right. All right, so let's go ahead and see what else we have. So let's go back. The DYS Aria are 63 bucks. So, you know, the DYS Aria are one of the best ESCs I've used and I've tested. One of the best. It's the second best now. The Tico, oh, let's go ahead and leave a link to this. So this one is what? Um, 63 bucks. And if we take a look here, let's actually get the bundle because that one over there is a bundle. Tico 32. These ESCs are out of this world. So 64 bucks. Uh, I would highly recommend if you're going to purchase these. I'm not saying the DYSR are bad. They're still one of the best ESCs. But if you have that extra three bucks, I would definitely jump on the Tico 32. It's 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 worth more than those three bucks extra you're paying actually. Um, so that's something to take note of, and it's it's it's, it's actually very important actually. Um, so uh, I highly recommend the Tico 32s hands down over anything I've ever used actually and I'm still impressed I'm actually gonna see if I can get more I'm actually gonna try to get like 16 more and just keep them on standby for other builds because oh man they're just so good all right so let's go ahead and take a look at some other things here I'm gonna try to make this video as fast as possible because some people don't have a lot of time to watch through this whole thing so the Oreo are 310 bucks that's pretty cool so did the EV 200s come out yet let's just check overall new stuff in the toys and hobby section so toys and hobbies there we go let's see what we have here xj we i should get this i want to try to get this and actually do a giveaway on it okay so i've been lately i've actually been wanting to build one of these drones and i have no idea where to start so this is going to be pretty crazy here this is this is a pretty nice setup but you know, maybe someday we'll do one of these builds. I'm, I'm really want to actually. So it's gonna be pretty interesting. All right. So what do we have here? The Real AC Ultra. Please don't tell me this is a clone of something. If it is, please let me know down in the comment section. Uh, you guys give me so much shit for clone shit. So it's not my fault, you know. Um, people are gonna buy it either way, but you know, sometimes people might wanna see it before. What the hell is this? That's just crazy. Let's see this one. I don't want to go into detail of this one right now because um, some people might cry later. So it's 132 grams. Oh, okay. I see why it looked pretty crazy. So that's pretty insane. What is it like breaking power or something? Or stopping power? That's pretty unique. I don't think I'll build something like this. And it's probably going to be a clone of something. But that's pretty crazy. I'll leave a link to all of this down below here. If you're curious on that. Um, I'm not really a fan of those, not my type of thing here. 290 millimeter, four millimeter arms. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, not my kind of thing. Maybe they're for somewhat racing. It's 290, so that thinks I think it could possibly take up to a seven inch prop. Yep, seven inch prop, seven inch propeller. Mm, pretty insane. It's called a mini, mini bigger air dancer mini bigger air dancer well so it's a pretty unique name for a pretty unique uh so the zeus i have this one actually i just remembered i should build it the zeus what does it come with the vtx now here so it's the zeus f4 this is i believe the 20 by 20 yeah this is the 20 by 20 we'll double check it right now and they're giving you a vtx with it for 100 bucks now i have not really tested this but the thing is what i find with these little ones is that these pads will rip out easily However, it seems of good quality, the one I have, but I really can't say much until we start using it. So, um, yeah, so this is going to be pretty interesting. If you're looking for a 20 by 20 all-in-one solution, you can go ahead and uh, check this one out. So it has a lot of uh, ports, and it's, it's pretty well laid out, as I believe, from uh, my overview on it. All right, let's scroll down. The brush is coming back into style for some reason again. I like my QX95, that's the only one I stick to. What is this? The DYS Shark Mocha. So this is obviously, this is, this looks, hmm, let's see this. I want to see the full package. Why is this more expensive? It's like a hundred bucks more expensive. Okay, that thing better flip up and have a screen in it. This thing looks pretty nice actually. It's a hundred millimeter, so it's pretty small. 18 amp ESCs, 200 milliwatt VTX, so F4 flight controller. I mean, on paper, this looks awesome, really. So this, I like this. It's like a little bundle pack you carry with it, and you don't have to carry your big transmitters, but you still need your goggles. 
quick assembly. That's crazy. Look at this. It's like proprietary stuff now, I think. So you break something, you better make sure you're going to be able to find parts for it. So this is a brushless. It's 1104-5400 KV. I think it's going to be a pretty nice one, actually. Seems like it would be efficient, but how big are the props here? 100 millimeters. I think it's, um, I don't really remember. I think 1.8. No, no, it's two inch props. So it's taking two inch props here. Um, I really actually want to get my hands on one of these gray and orange. So let's see the other one here. So let me leave a link to the full kit here for you guys. All right. <clears throat> and now let's go ahead and check the other one. There it is. That's actually, I didn't see this last night actually. Um, hmm. I really like it for some reason. I don't know why. But it's pretty expensive though for a 100 millimeter quad. Weight is 91 grams. That's actually, that's pretty heavy also. 91 grams. I had a 3 inch that weighed like 74 grams. So, well, it has, I don't know what to expect really. So, well, it's DYS. Hopefully they know what they're doing. Sometimes they don't know what they're doing. That's the thing with companies like this. Sometimes they get things right, sometimes they don't get anything right. So I'll leave I'll left the link to both of these down below if you want to go ahead and check them out. Emacs Formula, these are the ones that I forgot to get. I got the bullets. So I'm gonna see how I can if I, if I 60 bucks. So they're in the same range as the DYS Aria and the Tico 32. So these I'm gonna be expecting from now on $60 ESCs to perform as good as the DYS Aria, if not better. So if these perform to that specs, then these in theory should be good. However, the filtration here seems a little whack. This might be a little low ESR capacitor right there. And light and small in width. So this is probably like one of those super light ESCs where you sacrifice weight for basically quality well it's just not quality it's noise basic so i'll leave a link to these down below and if anyone's used them please let me know down in the comment section i'll be very curious to hear about your experience pretty sure others will also <clears throat> all right so gimbal i always wanted one of these but i have no use for it really so i just like to look at these gimbals and stuff this one is crazy i actually have one but I haven't really tried it yet. Not this exact one. I have a different one. So this is nice, but you know, why is it 20 by 20 when this is, you know, 30 by 30 or 35 by 35? It's cool that they made a little PDB for it, but that just, you know, kills the whole setup really. Um, so what is this? Just, this is basically a current sensor and like an adapter, I guess it would be. That's what it seems like. Yeah, because in theory, this is the all-in-one flight controller, um, which means it just takes raw battery power, and it'll, I think it'll translate it to 5 volts for it to run. And you have this to kind of uh, just basically do uh, routing. The PDB, it's not really, it's just basically a PDB, it's just like wires to get to the power to the ESCs here, and does some little easy stuff for you here and there. You got your current sensing. So this is pretty cool, 30 bucks. Um, I don't know what to expect really. Let's see what kind of gyro this thing has. So it's an F4. That's obvious. F4. Okay. MPU6 style gyro. So it's a good gyro. It has beta flight OSD, uh, two UARTs plus the virtual one, which is for the USB, six uh, motor outputs, built in 5 volt 2 amps. Input takes 6 to 30 volts, so you're good to up to 6S, possibly even more. Rubber dampening. Cool. No black box, so it has it has no chip inside. I think it has no flash memory, so you can you can't record the black box even to the internal memory. I could be wrong, but this is what I am translating this to here. <clears throat> I mean, it seems nice. I mean, Matex has quality stuff, and uh, I know people might hate or be scared of Matex stuff because of the F four hundred five, but it, that's not a F four hundred the Matex F four hundred five one one flight control. I'll leave a link to this down below. It wasn't the F four hundred five flight controllers issue. That thing was built like a rock, but the issue was from the ESCs, um, you know. And uh, for example, uh, some any almost just about every single what is it? Uh, sensitive gyro has that same issue uh, on new flight controllers, so take that into consideration. It's it's all about your ESCs. So this is pretty cool, actually. I really wanted to get this now, but there's really no need for it. It just looks awesome. 
you know as a little kid i always dreamt of something like this and now we have them all over the place for like even 30 bucks you could find them so it's pretty cool you know i really like this actually i don't know what i'd use it for though but here's a link to it if you guys are curious I remember when I was a little kid, I always wanted something like this. Like, oh, I wish there was a car I could control with a camera on it. Now we have quads that could fly hella far with cameras on it. So, yeah, check this out. This is the new diatone frame, and I find it absolutely ugly. I don't know why. Um, it's cheap, too, actually. So, let's just see. I want an X. So, this is about a 3-inch, I think, or a 4. This would be, I think, the 5-inch here. Also, this one might be a 5-inch. Or this one might be a 5-inch. Let's see the X. I don't like I don't like stretch X, especially for my type of flying. So let's take a look at the pictures here. I find it very ugly. Very ugly. I mean, maybe it's supposed to go for weight. It looks pretty thick. Um, but it looks like kind of even like Daitone's cloning the floss frames a bit. Maybe he worked with them or something. So I don't really know. Um, let's see, let's see the weight, ooh, that's why, 57 freaking grams, okay, now it seems a bit more interesting, actually, it's 34 bucks, that's pretty insane, um, I'll leave a link down to this down below, so that, that's, that's gonna be pretty good for racers, that's for sure, seems like it has a lot of space inside, too actually let's see if it has 20 by 20 mounting holes i didn't even check that if it does then that's just crazy let's see does it say anything hmm. oh here's all of them and how much each of them weigh so it doesn't really make sense here our, our five okay okay five inch it's a five inch normal there's even a seven inch oh that's crazy so we were looking at the 53 grams this was the four inch so the five inch normal x is 57 the stretch x five inch is 60 grams it's pretty good actually very good yeah look at that 20 by 20 mounting holes and the 35 by 35 or 30 by 30 it's just crazy yeah so yeah 20 by 20 and 30 by 30 that is freaking awesome but do they give you the holder for the run cam micro that's very important actually they, they should I mean they have to they they do really have to but I don't think it mentions anything about it actually let's see doesn't mention anything at all so I mean, this is pretty cool actually so I'll leave a link to this and I did already so that's pretty interesting all right so no thank you I don't know what do you think of this really I, I really have no idea they have a pre-built one I just saw the other day actually oh yeah look at this frame Please don't tell me this is a clone of anything. Um, I ordered this, so I'm waiting for it. I ordered it before I knew it was a clone of anything, but it just looked absolutely sexy, really. Looks very nice. I really like it. Is it really gray on top? Or is that just the lighting? I really can't tell, but that thing just looks awesome. 80 grams, that's pretty good. Yeah, it is gray. That's... I really like it actually. I really do. I really hope it's not a clone of anything. So I'll left the link to that one. Alright, let's see what we have here. Uh that's too much for something I really don't know what it is, so let's just take a look. So two hundred bucks. Let's see with FR Sky D eight, two hundred bucks still. Alright, so what do we have here? That's a four inch, yeah. What is this? Okay, fifteen oh six motor, so I think it's between a three and a four inch here. And we just see the prop size. What is prop size? Yeah, it's a three inch. So it's actually three point one inch. They're using three point one inch props as you can see right there. So let's go ahead and take over the specs here. So it's a stretch X. Okay, fifteen oh six forty one hundred KV motors, twenty amp four one ESC is the shot six hundred. We have beta flight OSD, we have a VTX up to 200 milliwatts, 48 channels, run cam micro swift 2, King Kong. Yeah, I had a feeling those were like King Kong motors. 
So this is like maybe an OEM in some sorts of way. I personally think it might be too expensive, but I could be absolutely wrong. This could be the fastest three inch on the planet. So I'll leave a link to this if you're curious about this. For me, it just doesn't, you know, drop my jaws like, oh, I really have to get this. All right. Okay, this is pretty interesting. 60 bucks. What am I getting for 60 bucks? 20 app 401 ESCs, 200 milliwatt 40 channel VTX, F4 flight controller. Okay, it's a 20 by 20. I'm gonna go down slowly because I really want to see an OSD. If I see an OSD, I really want one. And there it is. That's awesome. The connector is crap, but that's fine. It's a micro. It's 18 millimeters tall, so that's pretty good, actually. That's very good, I think. Yeah. I really like this. It takes 2 to 4 S LiPo, and even takes 2 to 4 S high volt LiPos. Uh, 20 amp ESCs. So this is, this is basically, um, I believe... Does it even have SD? I think it even takes an SD card. Does it? Why is it using the SD firmware? No, it doesn't. That was weird. Okay, well, it's using the, the Omnibus SD version firmware here. As you can see right there. And... Yeah, I think this is going to be for, like, hyper, like, super light builds here. But... You're gonna need some filtration because the ESCs they don't show you, but I'm look at that. I don't even see like a single cap on this. So this is gonna need some good filtration possibly. So I'll leave a link to this down below. I might actually get this and maybe get the uh, diatone frame also and try to do those together. That'll be pretty interesting. All right. Okay. Oh yeah, these actually. I saw these uh, last night. New goggles. They look like a lot of things. They're 16 by 9 and 4 by 3, which is pretty crazy. They do take Fat Shark modules. That's what they're stating. So that's good. Um, yeah, it's very good. That's the same kind of way that the uh, normal Fat Shark takes them, so you don't have to worry about that. HDMI end. <clears throat> HDMI in and the SD card here. Oh wow. Wait, which one is this one? Hold on. I'm confused here. So I think it's just one of them that are just these or just the I, I really can't tell. Oh for large large nose space. That's what that's very good. That's the downside of actually the sky zone. That is the downside. Maybe this was a Sky Zone rebranded in a way, or OEM, and they told them make a bigger one. It could be. It actually could be. So okay. Okay, so it's sixteen by four by three. The original screen inside is a sixteen by nine. So it's um, native. Um, it's it's native. Yeah, it's natively sixteen by nine aspect ratio here. It's thirty three degrees field of view. It's close to the Iomways. So maybe it's a little bit better than the Iomway in theory. That's pretty interesting. But how much does it cost? It's, it's in also in the same range as the Iomways. So this is going to be pretty interesting. Um, this might be the Iomways, depending on how, well, at least for me, if, how they fit on my face. See if I can get some of these under restocking. They already sold out. This is the first time I've seen it. Okay, so I'll have to link to that one down below. What else do we have here? Okay, don't really care. Mm. What is this? Okay, it's a camera board here. Okay, the M9, high magnetic angle sensor. What's the difference with this? 
It's 30 bucks. It looks pretty nice, actually. All right, so they're about to release a new one with these new um, high magnetic. Let's see this. The 45 degree throttle. <clears throat> okay, so I understand what they're doing here. They've minimized the um, the deflection area from these two places here. So before, you know, instead of just moving this to here, for example, you would have had to move it all the way up here to get the full 100% or whatever. And then same thing goes back here. So they've made it shorter distance between like, for example, zero throttle and full throttle. So you can get more, um, basically quicker response as they're stating here. So that's pretty good. It's pretty interesting, actually. I can't wait to try this adjustable tension. That's what I love. Looks nice, actually. So it's going to be pretty cool, actually. So I'll leave a link to these down below. These are currently for the regular Tyrannus here, uh, the older one. So we'll see. Maybe we'll find some QX7. But usually the, the QX7 and stuff, they would follow after this. So I'll left the link to that one down below also. The T-Motor F60 Pro. Actually, I'm planning on getting some. And I'm going to get the 2350 KV. Um, I'm not going to go high KV anymore. Especially with these types of motors. It just, it did, oh my god, they just suck so much amps. I'll leave a link to these down below. I have the new F40 Pros. They just look absolutely stunningly sexy. So that's supposed to be going on a 6-inch, the F40s. I, have, I got the 1600 KV. So it uh, should be pretty good. The HDLRC Hornet. Has a pretty nice name. Looks nice. Looks like a diatone, like a mini one. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like the mini diatone here. Like a little one. It's nice. I guess. Let's see. Okay, bit flight OSD. F4, MPU 6000. What's the ESCs? I guess they're making these to kind of get rid of all the D Shot 600 ESCs now, the BL Heli S ESCs. Because a lot of them want to go to the. Beale Holly 32. Good sensor, good camera here. What else do we have? Looks nice. Um, it's 2.5 inch prop size, so that's very good. It takes the 3S. This one might be good, actually. So, let's see in the motors. Actually, I forgot to even look at the motors, which is one of the most important things here. This is the ESC. Where's the motor? Okay, that's not motor. Here it is, 1106, 6000 KV. So I, I don't know what to expect. It's gonna be pretty amp hungry, I believe. So I'll go ahead and leave a link to this down below also. Let's see here. All right, let's check out a couple more. Oh no, I think we should be done here. Oh yeah, I also just purchased. Oh no, I didn't, not yet. I was going to. Yeah, here's a couple more frames. Uh, this one I got also. I really hope it's not a clone. I have to keep saying this now, but yeah. Anyways, I'm. I'm. Uh, this is this one I'm gonna be getting. I don't know what it, if it's a clone of something or not. I really, I haven't checked, and um, yeah, you guys will let me know. That's for sure. So this one looks pretty cool. It's 103 grams. It's a five-inch quadcopter. Uh, it looks nice, and that's all I can say. But it looks nice actually. I really like it. So this is gonna be pretty interesting. What you can do with these types of frames, what I love. Is you can remove the standoffs here and remove the camera plate and remove the back one and the back standoff and make them with smaller standoffs and get that 3d printed part for the gopro uh, micro uh not the gopro the run cam micro and you would shed a trillion grams of weight so it's like what i'm doing to the the the, the high-end uh, quadcopter build for the patreon giveaway the same exact concept i was doing and i am doing so yeah So fireproof, waterproof, lipo bag. This looks nice. It's in black. This is pretty nice, but um, I don't know what the hell I use it for. Yeah, these. I'm actually purchasing a bunch of these because I have a lot of new projects 
coming with FPV receivers. We, I'm planning on doing maybe like a car that'll actually scan the area and then try to find your quad, obviously if it's still on, uh, through that. So that's going to be pretty cool, I think. Um, so I'd highly recommend maybe picking up one if you're into DIY projects or, or two or something. Uh, we're going to be building like antenna testers and stuff. This one's going to be pretty cool because this one we could do a lot more stuff with since it has the SPI hack in a way or whatever you want to call it where we can actually control the channels through Arduino and we don't have to rely on anything else. So this is gonna, this is a very good one. And this is what basically the Furious FPV module is built out. It's built out of two of these. Uh, that's all it is basically. And software like an Arduino in the middle of them switching between them back and forth. That's what the Furious FPV Fat Shark module is. Nothing more, nothing less. So, um, yeah. So that's gonna be pretty cool. I, I really like this actually. All right. I actually have an idea to build my own Fat Shark module and probably even add OSD into it. But that'll be a while because right now bit busy with a couple things. I have some exciting news, hopefully. You guys will be excited also. And I think that's it, guys. So let's just do one last look at just some random area. I like looking at the tool section. Um, that's sometimes it's interesting. They have so many things that I, I just, I have the, basically the quadcopter part memorized, but everything else not really. Let's go to professional tools. Oh, no measurement analysis. Oh, let's go here. Oh, I just missed it. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a vacuum pump. I don't need that. It looks cool though. This is an inverter. Inverter. Hmm. Uh, sometimes you know it's just you don't really see any good stuff on the new when you click new. Some days you find some amazing stuff. I have this levitating thing coming from Banggood. I don't know where I found the link from, but once I get it, I'll find it and I'll show it to you. Basically, it could levitate something up to 250 grams. It's going to be pretty cool. I want to see how that's going to play out. It looks pretty interesting, actually. It's pretty cheap. I think like 30 bucks at the time. I need a couple power supplies. I, oh, this, there it is. This one. I really want to get this one. But it's so expensive, but I really want it. This will be so useful on quads. So, so useful, hopefully. Um, it's pretty expensive, so I'm hoping it has some high torque, tish, high torque not too high, but a little bit high to actually get those screws put in or just open them. So this is, this is, I really like this. And this one too, actually, this is the first one I actually saw. Let me put a link to these down below here. Let's put them in order. All right, so this is the first one we saw. This one's pretty nice. This is, I think, a new one, actually. So, and this one here. Pretty nice, both around 100 bucks. Uh, stainless steel or chrome, I would get stainless steel. Maximum torque. I really can't translate that to anything for real, but um, once I get it, I'll figure it out, I guess. Pretty nice, actually, it's very nice. It looks very elegant and well-made. If it's like they're soldering irons, then obviously, because it's the same company, I believe. That portable's TS100 or something. All right, so, well, that's it, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, consider joining my Patreon. I'm doing giveaways this month, every month, actually, now. I'll be giving away two micros, uh, basically ready, full, brand new micros. Uh, one which will be an awesome 100, I believe. I forgot its name. And the other one is going to be the iFlight Strider Micro X2 Advanced Edition. Um, and yeah, consider joining my Patreon so we can continue to make this great content and uh, do a lot more giveaways. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. See you guys. Take care.